This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody, welcome back to our Farming Simulator 22 map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Giant's Island Crystal Edition. But before that, this video is brought to you by Coulier Farms and Optimus. Thank you for being farm barons. So if you're like me, you may be wondering, what makes this a Crystal Edition? Well, it's going to take a little bit of imagination and maybe a little bit of forgiveness with respect to what makes this the Crystal Edition. In 2003, Giants celebrated 15 years of Farming Simulator. Farm Sim 2008 was the very first release of Farming Simulator. Now, this is the map that was in the original release of Farming Simulator 2008. 15 years later, 2003 if you will we have the crystal edition and the crystal edition is basically named such because typically when someone celebrates their 15th wedding anniversary they are gifted crystal henceforth the crystal edition now i said it takes a little bit of imagination a little bit of forgiveness and the fact that we are in may of 2004 with the crystal edition release but we will let that just kind of go on under the table let me read you a little bit of the description. Island of Giants. Go back more than 15 years and discover the first map of Farming Simulator 2008. This island is four kilometers squared in size and has two kilometer long coastline. Or sorry, six kilometer long coastline. It goes by the name of Island of the Giants and has 49 inhabitants. And the agricultural area of 240 hectares, the island can own a small village and a church the bridge is under construction the only connection to the mainland exists at the moment is via the port your yard is the only one on the island and they drive the harvest to the port or bunker them in their own silos enjoy the beautiful landscape of the island now Let's go ahead and load on into the map. We are going to be using some other mods. These are the mods we typically use when we look at maps. They are additional field info, additional game settings, animal food overview, field lease, field calculator, straw harvest, as well as precision farming. I will tell you, if you load this map up in farm and manage mode or start from scratch, you will find the main farm is built out exactly how you see it here in new farm mode. With the exception, you do not own any land, nor do you have any starting machinery in those alternate game modes. Also, I will tell you this map plays absolutely fabulous on low-end systems because, well, as you're going to see a little bit, it is very, very open and there are very few models about. And those models, I'm pretty sure they have their original 2008 textures associated with them. Let's go ahead and take a look at our PDA. First thing you're going to see is we have three large fields right here, kind of in the center of the island. And that is exactly also where our main starting farm is located. In fact, if we go ahead and take a look at our lands overview, you see we have farmland ID 1, which includes the main starting farm. That can be bought for $195,570 in any alternate game mode. In addition, we have farmland ID 3, which includes field 1. That can be bought for $1,122,000 in any alternate game mode. And farmland ID 19, which is going to cost you nearly $38,000. This map does include all the standard crops available to us in Farm Sim 22, as well as those included with the premium expansion. And if we go ahead and take a look at our farmland lease screen, this is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are, and if those farmlands include any fields, how much is that farmland going to cost us? Now we can cross-reference that with our field calculator screen, and this is going to show us the specific sizes of each particular field. And you can see our fields are going to range anywhere from 0.3 hectares all the way up to 21.29. So quite the varied size. Take a look at our crop counter. You will see that we do have the standard base game crop counter that is available to us here in Farming Simulator 22. Let's jump back up here to our precision farming soil map. This map is including the generic soil map. So let's go ahead and see how that is being applied to these fields. As you can see, we have a nice mixture of soil types that do line up again with the generic soil map. 
Field one, which is our starting field, we have all four soil types represented there as well. Take a look at our prices screen. You will see that we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our base game crops that are available to us here in FS22. In addition, we do have the ability to sell our eggs, wool, and milk, as well as our silage, hay, straw, and grass. As we continue down through all of our base game production items, we once again do indeed have the ability of selling all of our base game production items. Now, do note we do not have the ability to buy bulk lime on this map, so you will need to be buying lime over at the vehicle shop. But we do also have the ability of getting rid of your stones. So if you do play with stones enabled, you will have some place to sell those. One thing of note is if you are playing with the farm production pack, you will not have a way to wash any of your root crops. You need to put down a sell point if you are going to be using the wash tunnel with the farm production pack. And the premium expansion, well, you can indeed sell all the premium expansion production items, but you will need to basically put down your own trees because there is no really easily harvestable forest on this particular map. As far as the platinum expansion, we do indeed have the ability to sell all the platinum expansion crops and production items. If you are playing pumps and hoses, we do have the ability of getting rid of our separated manure. And if you are playing with straw harvest, we do have the ability of selling our hay and straw pellets. We do have a decent listing of starting machinery, given the fact that we basically own one field at the start. We do not have any animal areas pre-placed on this map. There are contracts available. We do not have any production points owned at the start. In fact, there are no production points on this map at all. And this map also does not have any collectibles. Let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet. We start out with the Fint 716 Vario Medium Tractor and the Fint 936 Vario Large Tractor. We've got the Ideal 8PL Harvester that is paired up with the PowerFlow 30-foot Rain Header. We have then the Big Body 750S Trailer. We have the Echo Mat Plow, as well as the Samgard 9500K Cultivator. We've got the HR4040 Power Harrow, and that is typically paired up with the Venta 4030 Cedar. Those are used commonly together. We have the Hardy Mega 1200L Sprayer, the Novacat 301 AM ED Pro Front Mower, and the Boss Alpine 251 Forage Wagon. This map does not include any custom vehicles or implements. Now, as far as our starting farm goes, we have our farmhouse here with our sleep trigger. We've got a pair of sheds. This one located right there. A large machine shed right there. We do have fuel storage. And we have our farm silo with our dump and fill point. That is the starting farm. And we do have the ability of selling all of the items here at the starting farm. So if you wanted to completely blank slate this thing, get rid of these older buildings and put down newer looking buildings, you could do that if you wanted to. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at build mode. See if these old buildings are included with the map. Indeed, they are, so we can put these back down if we would rather just relocate how things are positioned here on the farm. In fact, we also have our farmhouse that we can put down. As far as landscaping goes, we have fairly standard ground textures as well as plants and trees. Now, you shouldn't have any issue in planting trees on this map. I'll just place one. Just to see that. Now, of course, placing trees and planting trees are a little bit different. But if we were over the tree limit, we shouldn't have been able to place that tree either. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of altitude and kind of take a look around. Now, I will say that this map is not going to score very high because... Visually, it is holding very true, in my opinion, to the original Farming Simulator 2008. Now, I will admit, I was not around in a Farming Simulator back in 2008, nor have I played the original 2008 version of Farming Simulator. But I have seen plenty of Giant's Island maps. 
This map has come up many, many times in my years of playing Farm Sim and creating map tours. In fact, we have now three maps that reference Giants Islands just in Farming Simulator 22 alone. And I will say that all of these buildings are using very old textures. And a lot of these buildings look very, very similar to what maps that are emulating Farming Simulator 2009. And I would say that this map is a little void of those buildings, a little less buildings in the 08 version. So I do feel that this is holding very, very close to the 08 version of the map. Coming up here to the hook that is in the extreme north, we have a little church up here overlooking the water. We have a couple fields also along this edge. And then we have three areas that we have grapes pre-planted. So if you do want to get into grapes and you don't want to have to put down your own grape vines, well, this map may be a nice little foray into grapes. So we've got three grape areas here. A little bit of an AI town up here with yet another church. This is on unbuyable land. And you may notice that we have these windmills or these power generators scattered around the map. I did try to buy all of the farmland and I did try to sell these generators that were on ownable land and I was not successful in selling those. So those do appear to be permanently a part of the map. Now, with respect to our scoring metric, we are going to give the map zero points with respect to production being built in or areas set aside for such. Now, one could argue that there's plenty of areas here where you could put down production, but there's no clearly defined pre-leveled, pre-kind of gravel or concreted area for placing productions. So we are going to give the map a zero with respect to that. With respect to can you sell all the base game farm items as well as animal outputs and productions? Well, yes, indeed you can. So we are going to be getting a full point there. With respect to the main farm being customizable, we are also going to be giving the map a full point there as well because, well, we can sell everything at the main farm, so it is fully customizable. With respect to the map having new textures on various buildings, well, we are going to have to basically give the map a uh, pretty close to a zero on that because of the fact that the only thing really that has any new textures is going to be the diesel storage tank. So we're going to go ahead and give the map zero points on that regard. And then our last metric we're going to talk about here in a little bit. Uh, but basically we're going to give three quarters of a point to that because while we do have trigger markers everywhere, there is an activation icon that does not have the ability to activate right at the icon. Down here at the dock, we do have our dealership. Let's go ahead and activate that. And let's go ahead and get our Mahindra to see where this spawns. So right next to our dealer trigger, which is located right here, so we do have our dealer trigger so we can buy, sell, trade, repaint, and repair our vehicles. Just down from the dealer, we have our animal dealer. And this is the icon I said was not positioned where the activation is. So if we come up here to our Paul, you'll notice we're not able to activate that at all. Well, we have to come over here to where these trigger markers are located, and then we can activate our animal dealer trigger. So that is where we're going to lose a quarter of a point there. And then we have our only cell point, which is going to be located right here. This is where we're basically going to bring everything and anything that we want to sell down here to selling station one, which is here at the dock. So guys, that is pretty much Giants Island Crystal Edition. Very, very holding true to the 2008 edition. As such, no, it's not going to score very well on this map or very well with our scoring metrics. And overall, we're going to give the map a score of 2.75 as a result. Does that make this a bad map? No. 
it just means that this map does not play well with our overall scoring metric because of the fact that it is holding as true as it can be to Farming Simulator 2008. Hence its namesake, the Crystal Edition of Giant Island. Now, I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments below of this variant of Giant Island. And just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and link down in the comments or down in the description links to the other two Giant Island variants that we have already had released in Farm Sim 22. We had one released in FS20 or in 2022. One was released in 2023. And now we have this one released in 2024. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And maybe if you want to go ahead and talk about uh, maybe the Farm Sim 22 in a nutshell video that Giants released today. What do you think of that? And I'll just finish by saying that three years ago, on April 15th, 2021, Giants released a Farming Simulator 19 in a nutshell. And one week later, they announced the release of Farming Simulator 22 in the fall. Let's hope we have a similar announcement next week. Till next time, happy farming.